Yo, what's going on, Sexy Samuel Squad? Today we're doing a ranked 1v1. I'm playing Try Hard Thursday. This guy passed all of his bands, by the way. I don't know if you can see. Oops. He passed all his bands, so I'm just I'm just gonna try to play Hebo. I don't know if Hebo's good or if Hebo's bad, but I'm just gonna try my best. Perfect copy HD. Uh, he outranges me a lot, Merlin. I actually like this matchup as Merlin. I've played it not a whole bunch of times, but I've played it enough times to know. And I don't love it for Ebo. Just because you get so outranged, it kind of stinks. I'm going to go shell. But if the Hebo can get close, obviously Merlin just gets up. So we'll see what happens. This is a very iffy matchup. Especially late game. If I get close, he dies. If I can't get close, I die. So yeah. So yeah, I'm just going to start at blue because I need blue. Um, but if you guys have not already, go over to the I'm Sam the Dude YouTube channel. It's just literally my name in game. I'm Sam the Dude. It's a second channel that I've just created. By the time of this video, there will already be one video up on that channel. Um, and there will be another one coming out every single Wednesday. For the foreseeable future so make sure you go by there subscribe it's pretty sick this created been up for 12 years well it's an old channel but i'm i'm just now starting it you know what i mean Yo, he lost so much mana Um, do you have blink up? No. Why? What? Why did he, why did he do that? If he didn't have blink up. Blink being like his three, not like, not like the blink relic. What's it called? Flicker? Yeah, I don't know why he would do that if he doesn't have Flicker up. He has a Master's Border on Marlin, too. Which does make me a little scared. Um, I might just alt this wave. I'm just going to alt the wave. Um, why are you... Oh, okay. I missed. I never die here. I'm chilling. Go get this. And might as well get a chalice because I got the gold for it. He has two stacks on Book of Secrets. He's going to go tablet. I don't know if he's going to go warlocks, but he will go tablet book. If I can delay that tablet book combo as much as possible, that is ideal. Go ahead and grab rock. God, my attack speed is so slow. Okay. Oh, we already fully upgraded to a book. That's very interesting. Going book instead of tablet. Is he not going to go tablet? That would actually surprise the crap out of me. Mm. All right, treasure chest spawn in five seconds. I'm going to stand right here so I can get both treasure chest spawns. So I just know. So I just have more vision. Because if, uh, if you're standing right there and you don't see the treasure chest, you know exactly where it is, right? It covers all three spawns while looking at two of them. I don't have mana. But my one doesn't cost that much mana, so I just like tank whatever damage you can deal. Uh, I think you might have just killed yourself. Because I don't think... I don't think I can die here. Yeah, I can't. I, I, I mean... I don't know why he did that. I don't know why he just tanked the wave. 
I do so much damage. And I'm so, like, not scared of any kind of damage he's dealing. Because he started book. I mean, I don't think it's... Okay, I don't think it's bad to start book. And I don't think it's bad to start tablet. However, if you do that start, you have to realize you have seemingly no early game. So you just got to play back, hang out with your tower line, you know, have fun doing nothing for 10 minutes. If that's not your playstyle, then that's not your playstyle, but you should know not to go book. Also, maybe he just doesn't have experience against Hebo. Because my damage as Hebo is, I mean, so much higher than anyone else's. What if I just, what if I just killed you though? Now, like most people, most characters not going to be able to get that kill there. Evo simply just walks up and kills him though. This could just be a lack of knowledge or on the matchup. Which is surprising considering he passed his bans. In my opinion, if you pass your bans, you're either one, tilted beyond belief, or two, you're very confident in the god you pick. And considering he is a master sporter, I assumed it was number two. But but I don't know. It doesn't seem like it is. Um. Oh, I missed. I didn't kill him. Oh, what? What killed him? Archers? My homeboys? Did archers kill him? They did. Let's go. The goat. All right. Well, he's got, he's going tier two defense here. He is going tablet as well. You can see here. That's definitely a tablet. Um, I kind of just want to knock out the defense route and just go Typhons here because he's going defense. So get some percent pen up rather than the, the finish, the defense item because tier two defense is more than enough. If he's just going book tablet and he's foregoing tablet stacking to get defense earlier. I feel like I'm fine going more damage. And 200 damage on that is kind of nuts considering it's not maxed and he has defense i can do bull demon for free the only issue with bull demon is if i wait a little bit too long and then i get pulled also my hp is gonna get fucking clobbered but i'm hoping Ooh. Nice. You do not win this. I'm double life steal. You have no anti heal. I missed. Honk. Okay, so we've gotten bull demon. We've gotten the kill. I couldn't maybe do red buff before I go to bull demon or before I go to the phoenix, but I don't think there's really a point in it. I'm going to be aggro on him to make sure my minions can get in. My minions are going to be doing most of the damage to the Phoenix for me, so... I'll just face tank. I'm basically acting as the minion for my minion wave. Because I'm a mage, minions are doing nearly all the damage. Not only am I a mage, but I'm a mage eight minutes in, so. Phoenix down. I could go blue buff. I have no cooldown, so blue buff would be nice, but. I also just feel like red buff is kind of a prize, right? If you're far enough ahead, you just want red buff at all times.
I kind of want to get an extra like 900 gold. I don't need 900. Chrono's pending is 26, right? Yeah. I kind of just want to get an extra. What is it? Third, like I need 3,600 gold. So just another 300 before I back, so I can get Genji Zang Chrono spinning and one back. This should be enough. I might have to wait a little bit, but it should be enough. Nope, I don't. Nice. Second relic should be a blink with how far ahead I am. Just because a blink alt will probably do at least 50% of his health. No, I don't think Dodgy wins against Merlin. Merlin's fire stance does too much damage for Dodgy. Also, you can't go like, you can't go like Bancroft's Typhons on physical gods. The best I could do is Soul Leader, and Soul Leader just got nerfed. You just dead? What are you doing? He was trying to tank my, my fire minions so that Titan would aggro me and not the fire minions. But by doing so, he's tanking so much damage from the fire minions. I can just knock up alt. And my alt hits him before I can react, right? So GG, game one. Welcome back to game two. Uh, they passed bans again. So I think it's the same guy. I, I believe it's the same guy. So I'm going to try hard again. I don't remember his name. That that was his name. I remember it now. It was Perfect Copy HD. He does have a, a lot of stars on Tsukuyomi. But Bastet's really good against Tsukuyomi. For two reasons. Also, I really... I know Soul Eater is really good on this god. I don't want to buy Soul Eater because he got nerfed. The nerf is kind of... bad, to be honest. Like, it's kind of a big nerf. But it just means that I have to not really play the game for a while, which I'm okay doing. I'm okay just chilling out for a bit. Um, but basically the nerf to Soul Eater was that it, it's 10 base pen that it had. It's, it's 10 flat pen. You used to get that 10 flat pen right when you finished the item, which meant that even though you're stacking the item, you still get a good power spike from it. Now you don't get that, that flat pen until the item is fully stacked, which does take a long time. So it's not that good. However... I am Bastet, and it is still a goaded item for Bastet. I could alternatively just go Jotun's with Jotun's Vigor, because I, I think Jotun's Vigor got buffed. Minions. Not this patch, but I think last patch it got buffed a little bit. So that's another alternative I could do. Or I could just go Soul Eater and Jotun's and see just what the fuck is up. You know what I mean? So eh, I don't know. I might go I might go Jotun's and Soul Eater and just check out if the build kind of works or not you doing red he was doing red i'm okay with this um do you die here no oh, you don't die oh i might die ouch oh you might die get his ass um yo. Does that kill minis? It does. Go cat form on him. Oh, I missed. Ouch. I think I can go do his blue, though. Uh, maybe not. Hello. Pretty cat. I just want the minis. By getting the minis, I hit five, and it makes me a big threat. Does he have beads? He doesn't. He has blink. Ouch. I want them to group up. Eh, yeah, good enough. He does have infinite mana because of the great old Shillelagh. Oh god, he's level 5. 
Oh, he's backing. But he's actually giving me blue. All right. Yeah, Thorns is a super underrated relic. A lot of people don't buy it, but I think it's 15% damage mitt and it has 100 base damage, which bare minimum means it's going to get rid of the a shell that your enemy has by itself. So it's a really, really good item. And I don't think a lot of people utilize it because the mitigation is super good early game. It's 85 base damage plus 50% of damage taken. Up to a maximum of 25% of the enemy's max HP. And it lowers their lifesteal. It's just really good. He has no mana. He actually has infinite mana. Because of Shillelagh. And that is now a Blackthorn. He'll never run out of mana. I, I don't think you win this. Thank you. I have thorns up in a second. He's just going to run away, though. I am okay with this. Chesterfield's just spawned. Hopefully, they're by the XP camp. That would be ideal for me. Well, thank you so much. All right, let's grab this. I kind of missed. Oops. I'm gonna max my one. I kind I like maxing my three, even though I know maxing your one is better. But I kind of like maxing my three just because it does so much damage. But I know maxing one is better because you get a lower cooldown on a leap, which is obviously good. But it also does better burst damage than the, the three. Okay. I don't know why he's trying to kill me here. What he should be doing is going for my buff. I'm also going to use my thorns on blue here. Oh! Scared the piss out of me. No! All right, well played. I'm dead here. <laughs> oh, no. All right. All right. Well played. Now, here's the big question. Do I go defense or do I go Jotuns? I want to go Jotuns. I just think it's kind of stupid. He's going Soul Eater. Okay. I actually like the Jotuns play then. Him going Soul Eater, I think, is actually so bad that I'm allowed to go... I think I'm allowed to go Jotuns here. Safely. I do really need the blue though if I want to if I want to win the fight. Nice. I think I can kill him here. Oh, the cat got stopped. Unlucky. So cat has an AOE radius on it now, and if I hit the uh, the archer minions like I wanted to, with the cat it actually would have AOE and killed the Tsukiyomi there, but. Unfortunately, I got owned by the front line. The good old tank minions. I got the blue buff though, so it's nothing to be nothing to be sad about. Even though I'm down a kill, and he did get a blue buff with that kill, I'm actually still up 500 gold. Okay. Look at that life steal. Oh my god, I am dead. Oh my goodness. Ouch. I did not think that his one was doing that much damage, but he only hit me with one. And it did 473. Holy crap. Ouch. Ouch. It says two, by the way, because the auto attack of the one after that counts as the one's damage. So even though it says two, it, it just means one. Also, him back in there gives me red buff, which is nice. Oh, I forgot. Dude, Bastet's bugged. 
If you don't know about Bastet Bug, then welcome to the fucking show. My three procs Yon's Vigor even at full health. Look, 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 look. Wait, maybe it's not my three. Maybe it's my two. Something proc. Oh, are you dead? Wait, I'm cool with this. Something procs on Bastet. Your Yon's Vigor. Even when you're full health. I don't know what it is. I thought it was three, but it didn't proc that time. Maybe it's because I wasn't close enough range. Oh, it has to hit an enemy god for it to proc. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, let's just go serrated. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stack up the lifesteal. Fuck it. Let's just see what happens here. By the way, him killing me twice and being even in farm means that when I get that kill, I get so much gold and stuff from it that I'm so far ahead now. 700 gold up. I can literally buy a 500 pot and still be up. Okay, look. Hold on. Look. Look. It proc Yon's Vigor. Ooh. You still don't win this. Um, throw that in there. God, my healing is crazy. Oh, I didn't think this would be up. Oh, nice. Um, what if I just fucking yoink you? Where are you going? I didn't have mana, you lucky duck. I did not have mana. He went Hydras. His build is okay, honestly. Um, I think his build is, is actually pretty good. The only issue I have with his build is that he's got no defense. Uh, I like the Hydras. I think Soul Leader is really bad. To be honest with you, I would like, I would, I think this build would be better if he just went like Blackthorn, uh, Breastplate, Hydra. I walk right into that. That's unlucky. Put the cat out there. You can back. I don't mind. If you back, I get a free rock. Frostbound gets you the kill. Frostbound is completely useless for me here. I'm sticking to him as much as I can already. Between the root, the leap, and the pull. I, I can't stick to him any harder. The only reason he's getting away is if he lands stuns, which... Uh, you know, Frostbound isn't going to help. Hello. Thorns OP. Your team has destroyed um. Phoenix. You're saying is you shouldn't buy Frostbound, you should buy Magi's? Uh, I do think Magi's is better for me in this scenario than Frostbound, yes. Because the only time... Okay, so let me explain. The only time that I get stunned is in the middle of a fight, right? The only time I'm getting stunned is middle of a fight. Magi's means I get one free fight of all inning him where I don't get CC. Which is obviously very good. Frostbound, on the other hand, I still get CC'd and I still can't catch up. Unless, you know, he stuns me when I have my one-up still, but he has never done that yet. All right, he jukes to the right here. Unlucky. Oh, he ulted anyways. The Groot. Man, good disarm. Good disarm.
don't know why he bought magis. I can proc his magis with with a cat if I can hit it. Ever. Ouch. And cat. Damn it. Okay. Yeah. Damn it. I really want to get that. <laughs> I really want to get that fucking bubble off of him before I ult. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Let's go. All right. Now we're chilling. Now I back. I get this. I get a 500 pot. And then I go and kill him. And now I go and kill him. I could go beat stick too. Beat stick wouldn't be horrible here. Spending time to get this rock means that his bubble comes back up, but I think it's fine. Also, I'm not doing red because I want to pick up red. Coming. Hello. We got his ult there. God, look how much damage that did, actually. Oh. Okay. Hit the bubble. Damn it. Not far enough. Whatever, I'm fine with this. Let's fight. Ow. Oh, bubble. Damn it. I got owned by bubble. That's fine though. I the the reason I'm allowed to do that is because I just got his Phoenix and I I can just easily all in. I I don't know how much HP that has left, but can't be more than 2000 and 2000 is Unfortunately for him, it's not going to be tanky enough. I can literally just jump in 3 to it. That's it. The only way you can stop me is by all inning me outside of Titan range, and I don't think he can kill me. He might, I mean, he might be able to. Let's just call it how it is. I might be able to. Your middle tower is under attack. If I fuck up the fight and he doesn't, he could kill me. The problem is I have so much healing, he needs no anti-heal. Although, if he does get beat sick right now, then... He might be, uh, he might be onto something. He did get beat sick. Okay. Oh. Alright, not enough. Unfortunately. GG. Not enough. If he had beads for my ult, then maybe. Because then he could have beads my ult and stunned me and probably bursted me down. Because you can actually beads while channeling abilities. But he didn't. GG. See you in game three. What's up, gamers? Welcome back to game three. This man still is passing his bans for reasons unknown to me. Kukulkin is not a good god, unfortunately. I don't play Kingdom Hearts, but I like Spider-Man. That, that, I'm happy for you, man. Spider-Man's a good game, too. And it's a good movie. And I'm sure it's a good action figure, also. Um, Let's go... I mean, Thorns just owns everyone. So here's my, here's how I think about Thorns. If I am a physical god, I buy Thorns. That's basically it. Because it's magic damage, so if you're a mage, you don't buy Thorns because they're going to build magic defense because you're a mage. So Thorns just does less damage overall. Still gives you the good mitigation, though. 15% damage mid. I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. I'm going to invade, though. I'm going to be cringe as hell. Are you here? He's not even here. There's no way you're starting red on Cuckoo, right? He's he started red every game and I've let him do it. But there's no way, right? 
Oh my god, he's doing it. He can't move. He can't move. He got cornered by me in the buffs. <laughs> Oh my god. Well, that was a crazy game while it lasted, I guess. Man. Owned by a buff. That is super unlucky. I'm just going to do this. Hold on. Wait for him to cross the corner. I missed. Wait, hold on. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Um. I'm getting on. Wait. I'm out of mana. No. Nice backpedal. I had to go for it. I mean, come on. The way this man has died th this many times already this game. I can't just not go for the risky play. It's too much fun. He died by getting cornered by a red buff. Like at that point... I should be able to make any play that comes to my mind. What up, JDB? All right. I'm chilling here. I am pretty much in no danger at all. In fact, I feel so safe that I kind of want him to alt me just so I can thorns the damage and send it back to him. Um, there's nothing up. I missed. Damn it. Wait, wait, alt me, alt me, alt me, alt me, alt me. Don't back, please don't back. No, alt me, no. Oh, man. Wait. Ooh. Damn it. Well, at least I get red buff. Ooh. Ow. I'm gonna just stand here. I'm so scared of you. Oh no. Oh no. Get them every time. I definitely have to make the risky play for blue again. I have to. I'm not me if I don't. Dude, I am quite literally trolling and I'm up 800 gold right now. I hit every spear. If he didn't cut my alt short with murder, 
That would have been an 8 for 8 alt. That would have been sick. Do I just go do Bull Demon? Probably, right? gonna life steal whoa whoa that was super rude man i'm too slow for this nice Oh, I missed again. I missed the uh, the follow-up auto there. All right, well, we got the tower with the bull demon. I, I mean, I could clear the wave. I'm just going to go for red, though. I probably should have cleared the wave under Phoenix, to be honest. He does have... Wait, he's going the exact same build he did on Merlin. The book into skipping over tablet into defense. I think I just wait for Bull Demon to come up. Not enough damage. I even landed two autos before he landed from the, the knockup. Which realistically you're only supposed to go for one. Do it. Do it. Come on. Come on. Fight me. Come on. Yeah, I missed everything. Oh! No, I got owned. He owned me. I should have six. Oh my God. I have 3,400 gold. Oh, wait a second. That does feel tempting. Your middle tower is under attack. Sure. More fury for my Four. Why not? Also, Bladed Boomerang got buffed this patch, didn't it? The effect lasts for 10 seconds instead of 5. In case you're wondering why I'm like basically inting, it's because I'm just waiting for Bull Demon to spawn. I, I can't get his Phoenix before Bull Demon spawns, so... I'm just buying time. Oh, he is so fast. He's got the He's got the treasure chest too. I can't even auto him. What a wiggly little worm. Oh, 
But I got minions in here now, so I really don't care what he does to me. I just focus the focus the tower and we're chilling. I don't know if he got red while I was doing Bull Demon or not. He was kind of at that direction. Which makes me think he would get it, but I'm gonna go for it anyways. How you doing, Fiddlin? I also really want some attack speed. I feel like my attack speed is really slow at 1.87. Boomerang gives attack speed though, doesn't it? It's only 2400. Why is he following me? All right, let's go get Boomerang. Oh my goodness. Oh, you lucky duckling. Decent damage. Decent Titan damage. I'll take it. Do this. Uh, I'll just go blink and 500 pop probably. I don't think that I have enough. I don't think I have enough damage. What's my crit chance at? Why did I crit 3 out of 4? 60%. With these two items? Wow, all right. All right, GG. GG, GG, and that was a good pillar. Good knockup stun pillar. He had to wiggle around. Back. He had to juke back into me to get around the pillar, and he just died. Crit Chance owned him. All right. See you guys in game four. Welcome back to the last game of this week's Try Hard Thursday. We're playing Gilgamesh. Um, I was going to play Bologna, but I feel like between Bologna and Gilgamesh, I play Gilgamesh less often. Obviously, considering the fact that Bologna has three stars and Gilgamesh doesn't even have one. Excuse me. I'm fighting Hera. Do I like this matchup? Okay, I actually think maybe I do. Because I'm going to go Frostbound and I'm going to go Hastened. And if I have Frost Alice, he can't get away from me. And it doesn't even matter if he... Like, I have Frost Alice and Beads. And do I go do I go Thorns or do I go Horrific? No, you definitely don't go Horrific if you're going Frost Alice. Did nobody unban graphics, by the way? Can someone unban him? <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't need to go horrific if I'm going Frost Alice. I could go Sprint, but again, I feel like maybe I don't need that. Horrific is good for anti-shield. I could go Erosion. Erosion got buffed this patch. Instead of every 10 seconds, it's every 5 seconds, right? Which means every single shield he does. Yeah, this effect can occur every 4 seconds. Which means every single shield he does will give me a movement speed buff. So I'll definitely go that. Dodgy's goaded. You can ban him again. Doesn't beat stick pop shields? Does it? No. It's just healing. Um... I really low mana, so I feel like I have to start with blue. It's fine. 
As long as he doesn't invade me, I'm chilling. Right, I am going to use my horn shard here or my wing shard. Just because I feel like if I don't, he's going to have so much pressure over me. Because he clears a lot faster than I do, so... In order to keep up any amount of pressure, I have to... I have to kind of fake it, almost. Can I get these? Okay. Nope. But maybe I can get the actual buff now. Because he full committed on just the minis. Not bad. You hit five here. You do hit five here. But I'm not scared of you. Okay. That did quite literally nothing. You have beads. You do have beads. No point in me ulting you. But I will ult the wave. Hmm. Might be dead here. I have to juke this three. Nice. All right. Um, so we got his beads. I still have my relic up. I also really want this, which is my little level five trick or treat item. He just clears so fast. Is it ever worth it, by the way? Okay. I did not think I could kill him there. I was going to say, is it ever worth it to just all in just to try to get something out of him? But, uh, I guess I can just kill him. I didn't, I didn't think I could, to be honest. I got 10% cooldown. Okay. I mean, that's fine by me. I'll keep 10% cooldown for free. Oh, I jumped at a fuck ton. It did 67. <laughs> it did do more than my kick, though, to be fair. The Argus. Oh, man. My mouse hit my keyboard and I couldn't rotate my mouse anymore. Whatever. I'm getting this. Oh, oh nice. Uh-oh. Guys, this is not good for me. Oh, shit. Damn it. Him autoing me actually healed the i think how many times did he auto me three or four four that's an extra 200 health on argus and it's actually the reason i died that's crazy that is crazy nice he didn't do my blue though I actually have cooldown now also, which feels really good. Or not cooldown, attack speed. Yes, it does, Fiddlin. Okay. Nice beads. Ooh. Pretty much max cooldown. 
He Argus. He Argus a little late, baby. That means his Argus is on cooldown. And I get the tower and I get the kill. Oh my god. Let's go. Actually, I don't know if I get the tower. This thing's kind of tanky. My level 10 item for my passive actually gave me a tier 1 defense item. Could be talisman. Slow. Oh. Oh, close. Very close. That is one more Argus down. Um, let's go. Let's go hasten now. Oh, it's kind of expense. I'm going to sell the defense that I got. Sell the defense I got for free from level 10 for hastened and chalice. Seems worth it to me. I don't know how he's going to peel me off now. Hello. Oh my god. That is, uh, that's Gilgamesh for you. That's exactly why you picked this god. You simply run at them. They're like, what is, what is he going to do? He could beads and survive one of my onslaughts. What's he going to do against the next 18 of them? I don't know. It's not level 10 that gave you the extra item. It's your passive. Yeah. So I kept calling it level 10, but your second part of your passive activates at level 10. And then once you get a kill in duel, once you get a kill or participate in more than half of the, the maps team. So in conquest, it's three kills regardless in duel specifically. Once you get a kill after you hit level 10 or, or, or later, you get a free tier one item. I just I just referenced it as level my level 10 passive because it's the second part of my passive. Level 5 activates your tier 1 passive, which you go and you pick up the item. Level 10 activates your tier 2 where you have to kill them to get an item. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, guys. Peace.